Friday day. Let me sit down. I am at my mom's house. I am in the bathroom because let's just all address the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes I was yesterday. That's because I wanted to tell you guys about my experience with the second COVID shot. So on April 30th, I we all got the first um, shot. We got Moderna. I think it was. Yeah, Moderna. I keep calling it Madeira, but that's not it. Y'all know I can't say anything right. Anyway, we got the first Moderna shot and I didn't have any symptoms other than I was a little bit tired, but other than that, I was just fine. I was so nervous about taking the second shot because people were saying that the second shot is where it hits them the most. But my pastor, his second shot, he said his arm was sore and he felt tired and that was it. Someone else that I know, the first or the second shot, he said he didn't have any symptoms at all. So I think it just hits people differently. And so I'm thinking, you know, oh, I'll be fine or whatever. So on Wednesday, the 26th, Savannah and I took our second COVID shot and I was fine the next morning. Other than my arm being tender, it was like, it felt like it was bruised. And it still feels that way a little bit like you know how you get a bruise on something and you touch it and it's tender that's how it felt and i was a little bit tired and that was it right so the whole drive to my mom's house i felt fine other than being a little bit tired and i'm like thank god you know i'm one of the ones who you know didn't really get any symptoms then I got to my mom's house and Savannah and I had plans to go into LA because my mom lives on the outskirts of LA. So we had plans on going to the city to actually, you know, do stuff. And I told her, I said, okay, let me rest a little bit because, you know, I just made the long drive. I felt like my nose is shiny. Anyway, so I get to my mom's and we unload the car and then I lay on the couch and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when I tell you the minute I laid down on the couch, I got chills, I got so cold, and I'm like, Savannah, can you give me a blanket? So she gave me a blanket, that wasn't enough. I asked her for another blanket, and that wasn't enough, and then I had a hoodie on, and so I, I could not get warm, you guys. When I say I was shaking like a chihuahua, and you guys know how you've seen the cartoons where her teeth are knocking together and stuff like that, yeah, that's how I felt. I could not get warm. My fingertips and my toes were numb because I just could not get warm. My head hurt so much. My body ached. It was horrible. It was horrible. And yes, I was drinking water in the beginning. And then all of a sudden, I felt nauseous. And I didn't want anything to eat. I didn't want it to drink, which made it worse. And I knew I had to take, you know, my Tylenol, you know, just to help relieve the pain. That was the worst 12 hours of my life. But what better place to be taken care of than my mom's house? Because for those of you that don't know, my mom's a retired nurse. So I had her taking care of me and she kept taking my temperature and I did have a low grade fever. It was 99 point something. And then when she took it again, it was going down. It was still 99, but the other number was going down. She was saying that if my fever got to like 100, 101, you know, she was gonna take me in. I felt like death. I'm exaggerating. I just felt horrible. I felt like crap. I felt like garbage. It was just, it, it was not pleasant. And I'm not telling you guys this to tell you don't get the shot because I still am an advocate for the vaccine that was just the way my mom explained it the antibodies working or something like that you know and from what I heard you want to kind of get sick because you know that it's working I don't know I don't know the whole science of it but um y'all when I say I was regretting my decision on getting the vaccine so soon but it was already too late because the second dose was already in my system so yeah it was the worst 12 hours because we got to my mom's about 12 12 30 and about 12 30 this morning i started feeling better 
and if having COVID is worse than what I felt, I don't ever want it. I had no relief. My head was pounding. I, I just had no relief of nothing. And no matter what I did, it wasn't making it better. So I just had to suffer through it. In spite of all that, I still recommend getting the vaccine. I still recommend the vaccine. I would do it again. So when I say I was nauseous and I didn't want to eat, but I knew I had to, I had pretty much had to force myself to drink because I probably was a little bit dehydrated. I just stopped like drinking because I was nauseous, which is not good, but I didn't want to throw up. I hate throwing up. We had seven up and she gave me ginger ale. It wasn't until she cut up some ginger and put it in water and had me drink that. It wasn't until I had that, that for some reason, it settled my stomach and I started feeling better. And then I was able to eat the soup that she gave to me. And then I was able to take my, you know, my Tylenol for the pain. And yeah, yeah, you guys, that was my experience with the COVID vaccine. And I still recommend getting it because having COVID would be worse than what I went through. What I went through was insignificant compared to hundreds of thousands of people have gone through with COVID, especially the ones that, you know, passed away from it. So, and today I feel better. I feel like, I mean, I'm a little bit tired still, but I think that's because of what I went through. But other than that, I feel fine, yeah. That's awesome. So yeah, I still get to enjoy my little mini vacation here with my mom. Even though we didn't get to do anything yesterday, I'm glad it set in yesterday instead of on Saturday, because Saturday is when we are going to Universal. So yeah, that's awesome, you guys. Okay, so I need to get in the shower. Yeah. <laughs>